I think a lot of the pressure is internal. I think I bring a lot of it on myself. Ever since early on in my life, I've had a great fear of failure. There is no doubt in my mind that we will be the world champions. Mics are going hot and you guys are live in three, two, one, take it away. Good afternoon and welcome to the desk, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Luminosity versus Randozos for you today. Yesterday, in three years of watching and playing Smite, yesterday, I saw the best game of Smite ever. It just keeps improving, and that's the most exciting part. Down comes the ultimate out of Zeus. Right hand side, left hand side, here comes Marvels. He might get a shot. Oh. No, he won't, he gets stunned. He gets impaled. Done, son, the 180 at a Barracuda puts him in the ground. Absolutely. In the Pro League for 2016, we hold our spring split. That's a 10-week season. The top three teams from both North America and Europe advance to the finals, which happens to be at DreamHack Summer in Sweden in June. Very exciting event. Everybody wants to see something that is the pinnacle of talent. You can't go home, play Smite for 10 hours, and be the best. It's not going to happen. And so for me, it's always the people that get me interested. I love the storylines and the players and the, the individuals, the faces. Perfect play from Barracuda. The quick 180 whip on his ultimate as well finishes him off. Absolutely well done. Barracuda's one of the best. There's a lot of like admirable players that, that we have in our scene. Barracuda, he's like the local home hero. He's loved by everybody. The world champions, of Prime, GG! You're guaranteed X amount of dollars. You're not wearing shoes. No, I don't wear shoes. I never wear shoes when I play. I'm so excited. I think I'm on drugs. <laughs> Just a positive attitude and that guy that you always want to be around. <laughs> they got destroyed last game. I felt really bad. All right, game is up. My name is John Salter. I'm a professional gamer for the video game called Smite. My team won the World Championship in 2015, and we got a million three hundred six thousand dollars to split between five of us. That's Kind of an unreal amount of money. Playing in esports, you always want to be that guy. You want to be known by everyone on Twitter. You want people to watch your stream. And a lot of that comes from how my dad raised me. Me, Scott, and Joy, um, my siblings, we never wanted to let our parents down. You can say it's just a video game, but no one's here just half caring about it. The competitive scenes harder than it's ever been this year. All these teams are so good right now. The longer this game goes, the better it is for enemy. Yeah, I agree. Whereas Eager also run pretty late game comps. North America itself can't wait to see who actually makes it. There's new squads. Everybody got hit by this thing called Roster Apocalypse, where they changed up their teams just to do better for season three. Enemy, who was the underdog last summer, they didn't win a game, turned out to be the second place team in the Smite World Championship. Drop that roster for the most part, and now they're still a dominant team in the scene. So seeing Payne DeVion and his crew make it to a dream hack would be exciting to see how they can play again on land. As a leader of my team, I decided to make a choice to replace four of my players. I, I kicked them, uh, so I, I kept only myself, and now we're going to land. That's first seed, so I have no regrets. I managed to pick up some new rookies that actually listened to what I said. And that was the problem I feel with the previous team. Uh, I want to be the leader at all costs or almost. It's just the way I play and the way I am as a person. Moving forward, going to DreamHack, our chances of winning are fairly high. The magic with my team is that I don't think we're a skill-based team. I think we're a wits-based team. I feel like we outwit them with our strategies, our picks and bends. Everybody's scared of Panthera, but I I feel like we're not really scared of anyone in EU. I would say we're probably watching Soar the most uh, because they're our number one competitor in North America. During my early high school years, I started playing games competitively, but I didn't go to LAN events or do anything truly professional. But recently, when I started playing Smite for a while, I actually got the opportunity to play truly professionally. 
is a little statue of Kepri, which is the support god. His ultimate is a resurrect. My team pretty much plays all in. They just YOLO it up and they just run into the enemies. So they suicide doing that pretty much, but I bring them back to life. I mean, we definitely think the DreamHack land coming up is our opportunity to play against Panther. Obviously, we're really excited that we get to make it, but now the next big goal is to win it in school, in sports, in band, in everything. Nothing ever gets in my way. I can't tell you who wins. I, you know, you might say Panthera because they're the best team in the world, quote unquote. I don't think that's going to be the case. I would not be surprised if you see one of the teams that come in as the third seed advance to the top spot. Nice, good job. We have to win all of our games to even have a chance at DreamHack. If we drop one game, we're out of DreamHack. And then even if we win all of our games, we still, there's a chance that we won't go. I know that I've struggled a lot personally this split, and I know my team is a lot weaker because of it, um, because I'm not the leader I should be right now. This year has been probably the hardest year of my life. I lost my brother about two months ago, and every day I struggle. And it's really hard to get through. Sorry. Um, we played we played video games together. Um, our entire lives, and he's the main reason I am a pro gamer today. Uh, since we probably won't be going to Dream Hack, I kind of feel like I let him down and everyone else down. That, folks, that concludes it. Luminosity Gaming will be missing their trip to LAN. For the first time in a long time, Barracuda and friends will not be present at one of the strongest showings of Smite competition. DreamHack will instead include the likes of Panda Beyond an Enemy, Jigs, and Soar. We'll hopefully see you guys there as well in Sweden for DreamHack and Smite Masters. I can't get too excited for a dream act because I know if I do, I won't be able to sleep the next couple of days. For a lot of people, it's like really easy for people to get to them, but no, it's not easy to get under my skin at all. Shout outs to Enemy and shout outs to Panthera. See you guys in second and third place. So, I mean, Smite Masters here at DreamHack, it's a spectacle, man. It's incredible. For Smite to be here in Sweden, across the globe, is really just fucking awesome. Yesterday, we had a, basically the first round of the tournament, and you basically saw the top seeds from North America and Europe advance to the semifinals. Now we're going into game two, which is enemy versus sword. This is a really tough competition, and this is the game to watch for maybe even the whole weekend. This is our first LAN event for a lot of us, and it's definitely our first LAN event as a team. So the fact that we're already not choking, we're not having nerves, we're working really well together, we think it's awesome. I was so nervous. Like, I, I, was, I was shaking. I was trying to hide it as much as possible. Thinking about what's going to happen in the game, what we're going to play, what they're going to play, and I think about what my teammates are going to do well. If you watch enemies games, they play the same standard comp. I think if we crush them this first game, they're literally just going to choke. Play with confidence, don't be afraid. That's the number one thing here. They're afraid of you. You beat them last time. You beat them really badly. They're afraid of you guys. Just play our game. Yeah. We're better at our game than they are at theirs. Let's see where the games are at right now. Yeah. That's where we're going. OK. Green games. It's a five game set. So we have a lot of smite to play. So let's fucking take this shit, right? One, two, three, and three. Game five between Soar versus Enemy. Winner of this is going to head to the DreamHack Masters Finals. Only five of those men on your screen will make it to the finals tomorrow. Let's go into game and see how this one plays out.
Baskin's going to lead the way in, and they're not looking towards them. They've both got the back to their enemy. Shop Baskin's going to come in and say, hello, friends. How are you doing? Goodbye, Verizio. Soar off to a great start. And here comes oh, Pain Nebiot, oh, throwing two oh, under the oh, tower. Not going to as well, but it's not enough damage. A saw pushing on, looking for the win here. Man, Yankee's on a rampage. They're going to find Verizio. They're going to find Pain Nebiot. So, all five members are still alive, and Chaos is running for his life. Falls to ultimate, and there goes Hurry Wins. They're going for the end. It's so, it. can they? Do it. it! Are they gonna go to the finals? DSI from Soar, 24 to 11, it kills five games. It took them, but they're advancing on. They're gonna be facing off against the reigning world champions, Panthera, tomorrow to close out Smite Dreamhack Master. We will not get a repeat of Worlds and see enemy up against Panthera. No, there is a new dawn in North America, and it's shown right there. Soar and general pain there. No That's hard feelings to his crew. It sucks that we lost, but. It was, still, it was still fun, right? You fucking know, and you guys know him. First time in land, three rookies. They showed up to be even better than I thought. And with this team, I, I hope if they want to, at least, keep going and go to Worlds and get first place. So is, is Team Sora the best in the world? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, we'll find yeah. out tomorrow. It's time for the finals of the Smite Masters at DreamHack. We've got two teams competing. We've got Soar and Panthera. We're going to be facing off for $250,000. Panthera, the reigning world champions, the strongest team in the region. It's, it's uncontested here in the North American hopeful Soar. And on paper, when you look at the matchups between them, it could be very spicy in every single one of these roles. This guy here is the number one. He was rated the first player in the world, the whole rankings. And the rest of the players are the top of their roles. You know, everyone's number one. Panthera's the favorite, full stop. These guys are the defending world champs. They're there for a reason. Soar, they're a brand new team. They're built on some up and coming talent, some guys that haven't had the shot yet. And this is a good, I'd say test, but I mean, it's much more than a test. Panthera is the best and it's gonna take a lot to really topple them. The DSI for Panthera. They're up two games to nil right now. They need this one to close out the set. So I keep finding some answers to what Panthera have thrown at them. This latest question, though, that they can't seem to decide what to do, and that is now causing them to lose this game slowly but surely. complete opposite way that Thor had intended. Uh, Four members of Sora dead for at least another 15 seconds. Then they swing to the left-hand side, and the Phoenix is weakened there too. They will take this down. Where is Adapting going? Where are Panthera going? Are they going to end it right now? Man, Yankee's trying to say no, but he's going to deal with four of them. The Titan falls. Panthera, Panthera win again. The world champions. And now they are DreamHack Masters champions too. Thor. They started off strong, but the problem is they just, after they finally adjusted, Panthera just readjusted. I have the pleasure of standing next to the world champions and now the spring split champions as well. It's Panthera. It definitely feels bad to go off on a note where you lose, but uh, as a new team, it's definitely really rewarding to make it to the finals in the first place. This is something that we only get one chance to do in our whole lives. Something that we can talk about to the day we die, this is something that we got to do. Esports is basically the, the highest level of gaming you can achieve, I feel. And in the end, uh, kind of make that this big family, right? Where everybody's like different in a sense, but at the same time, they're just gamers in the end, right? I think that the same amount of escape that you get from playing competitive video games and being a part of the esports world is the same type of escape that a kid hides in the gym and shoots 500 free throws for. It's less about the games and more about just going for it. I think that's really the escape more than anything else, is just finding a goal and reaching it. It's such a hard feat to win those games and then to lose. It's 
extremely difficult to stay positive. I want to win Worlds more than anything, especially this year, because I want to prove to everyone that I'm still one of the best players that will ever play some might. To win the World Championship and kind of like say, this is for you, Scott, like that would just be an amazing feeling for me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that happens.